Well, I guess I'm not gonna get to try those famous carrots. Thank you, laddie. I was sure I was done for. How's out kicking me carrots? Oh, gosh, me carrots! Oh, well, no, I won't have to bother with picking them. Uh, I better get going. I'm helping prepare for the Lumberjack Festival. Oh, uh, before you head off, there's been a strange sound coming from me barn. I'm afraid it could be more monsters. Uh, why is it always monsters? Fine, I'll take a look. is back in action and ready to lend a hand. Or four. Knocking you for chumps. some action. Out 
of my way! Coming through! For me? Prepare for impact! The barn was crawling with monsters. Good thing you didn't go in there yourself. Oh, dear. Oh, thanks, you lady. I'll be more careful from now on. Tubular! This village one step closer to another wonderful lumberjack festival. Thanks, but Farmer Abernathy's carrot field was destroyed when I got there. What? Oh, this will raise my spirits. Ben, meet the Grashugal lumberjack team. Hello, Ben. Is everything set up for the festival then? Well, we've had some trouble getting the big logs out of the lumber yard. Yeah, we're stumped. I'm sure Ben here could handle it. Uh, can't you, Ben? Well, hanging out with lumberjacks does sound fun. Meet us at the lumber yard when you're ready. I heard the city is infested with magical monsters. This will make me strong. I'm gonna scoot. Coming
Good to see you, Beth. All we need to do is get these logs out of the lumberyard so they can be hauled to the festival site. I'll take a swing at it. One more for me? Nice job. We knew there was a reason Stefan recommended you. You can chop that up as a success. Ha! <laughs> You're all right, kid. Want to come practice chopping with us before the festival? You don't have to axe me twice. That sounds like a blast. 
Great! Come meet us in the woods when you want to start. Okay, Ben. We've marked some trees for you. Let's see what you've got. <laughs> Out of my way! Knocking you for chumps! Going in and taking everything with me! Out of my way! Prepare for impact! You're practically a pro lumberjack, Ben. We found this massive tree and we thought we'd give you the honor of chopping it. Knocking it for chumps! <laughs> revenge when you try to chop him down? Not like that. Good thing you were here, Ben. I hate to admit it, but we were quivering like saplings. Don't worry about it. I should probably check in with Gwen. Hey, Gwen. What's up? Hey, Ben. How's it going? I got to hang out with Lumberjacks, but I also found a magical tree that spawned void monsters when I tried to chop it down. Huh. I wonder if that's one of the power springs the tablet mentions. There are three locations, and it says they'll all be normal places no one would suspect. A tree in the forest fits that description. You're right. I'd better go call the mayor. Bye, Ben. Oh, and bring me a souvenir from... All right! All right, Stefan. I took care of the trees. But now I have to tell you about the magical monsters around town. One of our lumberjacks just stopped by to tell us what happened in the forest. I'm sure that sneaky sorcerer Hex had something to do with this. Yes, well, I've asked Dr. Fibian to help investigate what could have caused such a reaction. You can find her lab in the swamp. Woohoo!
Hey, Ted. Bad Ted. Hey, Ben. I have a concoction that could neutralize the supernatural energy in the forest. I could use your help getting the ingredients, Ben. Of course. Just tell me where to find them. There's a special breed of frog that only lives underneath mossy rocks around the swamp. Catching frogs? Man, science rules! Started right away. I just can't wait to see what happened. Take it away, Doc. Yes! <laughs> wait a minute. That's one of the crystals Hex was searching for. It certainly is. Most excellent work, Dr. Anne. And using Ben as your lab assistant. Truly genius. Let's get out of here. Oh, and Ben, I have a parting gift for you as a thank you for your help. Amphibian? I should have known she'd be slimy. Whoa! I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this guy isn't on my side. I guessed right. Bring it on, Frankenpine! Okay. 
Who wants a baby cute monster for dinner? now, but that was no joke. Hex isn't messing around with those crystals. This will definitely help.
Where are we going, Ben? Let me help, Ben. Kid, I'm Ariel Roman, reporter for the Strudelbeck Times. Wait a minute, are you Ben 10? Uh, yeah, that's me. But how did you know? Stefan told me about all the good you've been doing around Strudelbeck. Uh, it's no big deal, unless you want to put me in the paper. In that case, it was pretty brave. I could use someone with your, uh, talents. A strange smell from the factory's got me worried. Could you go take a look? There may be a real story there. You'd put me on the front page? The featured story. Get down there, kid! <laughs> Hey kiddo, I'm Carla Clems, the shopkeeper around these parts. I see you've got some coins you're just itching to spend. Take a look at my shop. I'm sure you'll find something to buy. I'm going to start karate classes. A shower in that water, and it's going right into the river. Ariel will definitely want to hear about this. Hey, what are you doing in here? There are monsters on the loose. Monsters are my specialty. Oh, really? Well, uh, we could use a hand. I I'd say go for it, kid. First, we need to get inside that control room, but the generator switches are being guarded by the monsters. 
Don't worry, my monster fighting skills are way above satisfactory. Didn't see me coming. Take that! Wants a BBQ'd monster for dinner? Play with fire and you're gonna get burned! Monster for dinner. Going up. I've got a fireball with your name on it. Coming in hot. Another void rift. See what's hitting him. It's time for a rumble. <laughs> Guess they couldn't keep up. Hey, monsters nearby. Too slow.
that thing seemed to be under control, we can lock this down. No one ever has to know about the leak. Hey, wait. Is this thing on? Total lockdown commencing in one minute. Huh? I better get out of here. And fast! What'd you find? You were right. The factory's on lockdown and dumping waste into the river. Huh. Now that is a story. I'll continue looking into it with my sources. Hey, Glenn. What's up? Hey, Ben. I think I've got a corner of the tablet figured out. Awesome. What does it say? It looks like an old map of the city with landmarks. I'll set the locations of the landmarks to you to investigate. Great idea. And I bet I can see everything from the rooftops. Just to be careful.
give him a head start. Show these to Ariel. Penguin, what's up? Hey Ben, check your mission log. There are some new side missions available in this region. scattered around the city. Do they mean anything to you? Why, these do look familiar. Where have I seen them? Oh, by the fountain. Somewhere nearby the fountain. Maybe you should investigate there. Thanks for the scoop, Ariel. Here I go, again. Find a secret door. I bet there's something cool in there. Hey, monsters nearby. But there's clearly something weird going on here, and I better let Ariel know. I'm planning a ski trip to Mount Iceberg. Oh, hello, Ben. I was just explaining to Officer Oscar that he should be taking our findings seriously. She's right. Monsters from another dimension have made it into the city. Monsters? Can you prove this? Yes. I was coming to tell Ariel about a secret doorway with mysterious symbols, right in town square. <sighs> okay. Uh, take me there. I don't know what you are playing yet, but I have real work to get to. Hex! I should have known he'd be here. I'd better chase him down.
Let's see what he dropped. <laughs> List of names. Freak Otten, Class Gen Wills, and Elski Kissing. Well, they're definitely locals. Oh, another Void Rift! Shock Rock is charged up and ready to give Hex the shock of his life. Yeah! I'm ready for battle. Shocking! Trap me in this building. Let's see if I can find a way out. Tip earlier. No problem. I think your friend Ariel is in a sticky situation, though. That officer brought her down to the police station for questioning. 
Uh-oh. I'll see what I can do. See you, Gwen. Bye, Ben. 